And recall when we parted the sea for you and saved you and drowned the people of Pharaoh while you were looking on. And you will surely find them the most greedy of people for life, even more than those who associate others with Allah. One of them wishes that he could be granted life a thousand years, but it would not remove him in the least from the coming punishment that he should be granted life. And Allah is seeing of what they do. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, and the great ships which sail through the sea with that which benefits people, and what Allah has sent down from the heavens of rain, giving life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness and dispersing therein every kind of moving creature, and his directing of the winds and the clouds controlled between the heaven and earth are signs for a people who use reason. And with him are the keys of the unseen. None knows them except him, and he knows what is on the land and in the sea. Not a leaf falls but that he knows it. And no grain is there within the darknesses of the earth, and no moist or dry thing, but that it is written in a clear record. Say, who rescues you from the darknesses of the land and sea when you call upon him, imploring aloud and privately? If he should save us from this crisis, we will surely be among the thankful. And we took the children of Israel across the sea. Then they came upon a people intent in devotion to some idols of theirs. They said, O Moses, make for us a god just as they have gods. He said, Indeed, you are a people behaving ignorantly. And asked them about the town that was by the sea, when they transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath, when their fish came to them openly on their Sabbath day, and the day they had no Sabbath, they did not come to them. Thus did we give them trial because they were defiantly disobedient. It is he who enables you to travel on land and sea until, when you are in ships and they sail with them by a good wind and they rejoice therein, there comes a storm wind and the waves come upon them from everywhere and they assume that they are surrounded, supplicating Allah, sincere to him in religion. If you should save us from this, we will surely be among the thankful. And we took the children of Israel across the sea and Pharaoh and his soldiers pursued them in tyranny and enmity until, when drowning overtook him, he said, I believe that there is no deity except that in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of the Muslims. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth, and sent down rain from the sky, and produced thereby some fruits as provision for you, and subjected for you the ships to sail through the sea by his command, and subjected for you the rivers. And it is he who subjected the sea for you, to eat from it tender meat, and to extract from it ornaments which you wear. And you see the ships plowing through it, and he subjected it, that you may seek of his bounty. And perhaps you will be grateful. It is your Lord who drives the ship for you through the sea, that you may seek of his bounty. Indeed, he is ever, to you, merciful. And when adversity touches you at sea, Lost are all those you invoke except for him. But when he delivers you to the land, you turn away from him, and ever is man ungrateful. And we have certainly honored the children of Adam, and carried them on the land and sea, and provided for them of the good things, and preferred them over much of what we have created, with definite preference. And mentioned when Moses said to his servant, I will not cease traveling until I reach the junction of the two seas or continue for a long period. But when they reached the junction between them, they forgot their fish, and it took its course into the sea, slipping away. He said, Did you see when we retired to the rock? Indeed, I forgot there the fish, and none made me forget it except Satan, that I should mention it, and it took its course into the sea amazingly. As for the ship, it belonged to poor people working at sea, so I intended to cause defect in it, as there was after them a king who seized every good ship by force. 
Say, if the sea were ink for writing the words of my Lord, the sea would be exhausted before the words of my Lord were exhausted, even if we brought the like of it as a supplement. And we had inspired to Moses, travel by night with my servants and strike for them a dry path through the sea. You will not fear being overtaken by Pharaoh, nor be afraid of drowning. Do you not see that Allah has subjected to you whatever is on the earth and the ships which run through the sea by his command? And he restrains the sky from falling upon the earth unless by his permission. Indeed, Allah to the people is kind and merciful. Or they are like darknesses within an unfathomable sea which is covered by waves upon which are waves over which are clouds, darknesses, some of them upon others. When one puts out his hand therein, he can hardly see it. And he to whom Allah has not granted light, for him there is no light. Then we inspired to Moses, strike with your staff the sea, and it parted, and each portion was like a great towering mountain. Is he not best who guides you through the darknesses of the land and sea? and who sends the winds as good tidings before his mercy? Is there a deity with Allah? High is Allah above whatever they associate with him. Corruption has appeared throughout the land and sea by reason of what the hands of people have earned, so he may let them taste part of the consequence of what they have done, that perhaps they will return to righteousness. And if whatever trees upon the earth were pens and the sea was ink, replenished thereafter by seven more seas, the words of Allah would not be exhausted. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and wise. Do you not see that ships sail through the sea by the favor of Allah, that he may show you of his signs? Indeed, in that are signs for everyone patient and grateful. If he willed, he could still the wind, and they would remain motionless on its surface. Indeed, in that are signs for everyone patient and grateful. It is Allah who subjected to you the sea, so that ships may sail upon it by his command, and that you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. And by the sea filled with fire, and to him belong the ships with sails elevated in the sea like mountains, and when the seas are filled with flame,